So now let's see the one of the additional module that is uh, shop and production drawing. So the first one is shop drawing. So in shop drawing, we'll get the elevated view of the entire kitchen in front view, top view, or back view, uh, the asymmetric view with automatic labeling with different textures. So to do that, we have two. Uh, so this, we have two tabs here. That is one is the project tab. So I name this project as simple kitchen. The next one is print preview. So in this. What to do the, what we should do is go to print review and go to prints and in prints we have second option is called as load the title block so i can take any title block in this case i'll take title block 3 open i'll paste so i have multiple pages here so when we go to again to the project i will select the entire project here go to prints and i will select, uh, select the option send the entities to printing area so in this we must select the page here so in this case our page is this one print area 2 and again in this we want to send it to this area so if you want front view we can select the front view and if you want the uh, automatic dimensioning we can enable this i don't want this object as explored i'll disable this one and with unique colors send so you can see we got the automatic labeling in that front view in the same way if i want on the right view we can send so we'll get the right view the automatic labeling and if you want the isometric view and if you don't want the labeling you can disable and click again send so automatically you will get the cabinet without labeling in isometric view in some cases you may need the sectioned view in that case what we'll do is we'll come back to uh, the project i'll switch it to top view and in prints we have an option called as section line i'll just divide if you want 90 degree press f8 it will ask the direction i select this direction now if i go to print preview no if i again select the entire project send the objects to in, uh, printing area so in this we have option called as section line A so automatically we will get the cross sectional area so in this case we are getting that wall unit as well as the base unit so this is how we generate the shop drawing so after generating the shop drawing we will be also able to add some text to the existing uh, page to do that we should go to dimensioning and go to text option so here we should enter the text we need so we can type uh, we can uh, adjust the style here we have two styles default default uh, style 1 and style 2 and we have orientation and also the size adjustment so after doing this we click ok So like this we can add the text to the shop drawing. The same way the additional model along with this is uh, the production drawing. To do that go to the project area, click on particular cabinet. Again in prints the option called as machining automatic dimensioning. So click on this option, click OK. So already I created a new one. So I will create the screen and it to click OK. The software will automatically give you the dimensioning means where the machining must be done but uh, but the what distance what is the whole diameter what is the depth everything will be given automatically so this can be given to the boring machine operator so that he can prepare this uh, the for these diagrams and can do the manual boring accordingly so this is the additional module called as uh, production drawing or uh, in the software it is called as machining dimensioning